caterpillar patiently spins itself into a cocoon. It is a silk machine, and man has harvested this fine material for centuries. Thread by thread, it slowly weaves itself into a prison from which it will never leave, not in its present form anyway. A spider has far more uses for this golden material. One of its main uses is transport, and there seems no limit to the conveyor belt of silk spooling from its abdomen. Letting the wind spread its fine strands, a spider spans the distance it wishes to travel. Silk is one of the most astonishing, beautiful and useful products in nature. The spider makes it from the simple basics of protein and water, yet not even the latest science and technology can reproduce this exquisite product manufactured in the spider's own miniature industrial complex, its abdomen. Strength and elasticity, the product of a small animal who is an engineer, mathematician, architect and builder. A spider is a builder's spirit level on legs. It can weave with equal skill at any angle. Some spider webs are symmetrical and neat, while others appear completely disorganized, a complete mess. But even when they appear like a plate of spaghetti, a spider nest is designed with precision and purpose. Here the purpose is to capture flying prey. And these community spider nests are designed for multi-storey living. Thousands of tiny community nest spiders all share one big silken home, several meters high. Spiders are silent creatures. They have no voice boxes, so instead they communicate through touch, smell, display and vibration. And this insect means it's meal time. It is quickly devoured by many little spiders. Who make up in heart what they lack in size. The tiny spiders talk to each other by plucking on the web and touching as they conquer this comparative Goliath. They're small and the beetle is large, but there are so many of them they overwhelm it by sheer force of numbers. Web silk is covered in sticky droplets. Spiders work their way around them and hang from the silk with those special claws instead of walking on it, so they don't get caught in their own traps. But there are other ways to get around, like bungee jumping. The spider has felt its vibrations and runs down to see what's landed, bitten and immobilized. Now for silk thread to tie a parcel. But it will have to speed up because there's only one thing better than a beetle, two beetles. A run of good luck can't always hold. At least this one's going nowhere. One neatly tied food parcel, which the spider now cuts free, ready to hoist up to its retreat. Tropical tent web spiders package first, bite afterwards. And just think, this cling film is totally biodegradable. A spider can spin a web of a thousand lines in less than half an hour, and an incredible quantity of silk may go into it. Orb web spiders use around 20 meters.
The liquid crystal fibers of this silk make human equivalents look crude. If scientists could unpick its secrets, the chemical industry might be revolutionized by a new class of eco-friendly techniques and products.